Today I'm going to be talking about how to write uh, a great uh, Google Ads ad. So when someone sees your ad, they get interested, uh, it gets their attention, and hopefully you get the click. Okay, so let's write some ads. If you want me to write an ad for you, uh, put a, a website address or a landing page in the chat box now. I'm going to go to that pay website and then I'll write some ads. If not, then I'm going to pick up a random topic and we'll write some ads. Okay, I'll go to all the comments afterwards. And in fact, there are one or two very interesting ones. Okay. So first of all, what I do is I don't write ads directly in the Google interface because I just can't get my mind working in that interface. It's, you got to write it very quickly and then save it if you don't save it or forget to save it or something happens on the internet, the connection, uh, the internet gets disconnected, you lose the work. What I tend to do is to write the ads in a spreadsheet and then I take it from here, copy paste, either in Google Ads Editor or straight away in the interface. Because over here I can see what variations I'm making and what's, what's the message which I'm putting up. So I'm going to go for a dentist. So an emergency dentist Milton Keynes which is near us so whoever comes up at the top I'm going to pick up that website because they have worked hard to be number one organically ranked website I'm not going to do a critique on this all I'm going to do is take that information so this is my uh, psyche and my workflow so when a customer gives me a landing page or a website this is what I'm going to look is the first thing I'm going to look at is what's the headline so 24 hour emergency dental practice. So I'm going to put in 24 hour. Now you can put in the full hour or to save that is emergency dental clinic. Now to make a variation, I can also, if they were 24 hours, seven days a week, which they could be, all right, so to make a variation on the headline, 24-7 emergency dental clinic. Okay, so the next one is I tend to give an offer if they have one, or even if the client doesn't have one, I'll ask them, what's your offer? And then a call to action. So the offer is 25-hour appointment today. It doesn't give me a, a lot, but at least I have some information about what offer they have got. Indeed, at weekends, evenings, from only 25 pounds. Book now. So that is something which we can put up. other one which we can do now I've got the book now call to action in there already in fact what I might do is as they say that they they answer phones 24 7 so I've got call now or book now so make a variation then I'm going to put in just reading through it because this is the first time I've read this or seen this uh, website I want to pick up something good. So almost 40 years, that's a good one. And things like uh, free parking, so that could be our strong headline. Established 40 plus years, free parking. Now you'll notice that I'm making all these letters as capitals. So what you want to do is capitalize each and every word, uh, word because that is Google's uh, best practice. And just to give a variation, I can turn this around. 
okay so that's good and now what we want to do is re-emphasize that the emergency dentist appointment emergency dentist appointment we're going to go into some other pages now and see what they offer so they offer dentures crowns veneers invisalign this is a brand so i need to be careful uh, about using the brand in in the ad copy um teeth whitening okay so this is gonna write over here um we offer dentures implants root canals Okay, so they have another one for for children as well, uh, and a couple of more dental bridges and more. So what I tend to do is I, I tend to keep the width of these columns for the same uh, character count because then I know I'm nearing my uh, limit, like over here. As soon as I'm uh, coming close to this uh, column line, I know that it is almost the character count is there almost up. I can also put something like free parking is extremely important. Children friendly is also quite important. And let's see the team. I've written these 79 characters. I could add a bit more, but what I would like to do is so you've got dental surgeon, hygienist. Okay, all of these people. So they've got a big team. All right. So instead of book your emergency dentist appointment, I can rephrase that at short notice because they've got capacity. 89 is good. All right. So now what I tend to do is I can crisscross that. So the D1 becomes D2, or you can write another one. Add to description one becomes add one description to so you can crisscross them or you can um, write another one so this, this is how my ad has been written then i will put in over here absolutely path one and path two uh, dentist built in kings and my ad is written you don't need to have that url set up it is only to show so because we want to put Milton Keynes, the name of the area, in, in my ad. So that's why I have used it. And I also put in dental clinic or dentist I can use. Because in headline one, I had written dental clinic. So I'm using dentist in headline two or in part one. So that's how I have uh, written my ad. And obviously you put in the, um, the final URL which is the landing page or the website and you then carry on making as many variations as you want if you want so to create a spreadsheet like this is fairly straightforward and once you have everything in here we tend to use google as editor where you can copy everything in one go and paste it and it is lightning fast and it's very quick